Hi, for this tutorial we're going to learn how to use the Ocean Biogeographic Information System, or OBIS. And this is a data repository and mapping tool for marine biodiversity. So let's say, for example, we want to define information on the blue whale. We want to use the search data option. And we're going to get a blank map for now and some more search options. And we're going to use browse by taxa or taxonomic information. And then let's simplify this search by using the common name instead of the scientific name. And we'll just type blue whale into our search bar. And before we even see the map, we get some more information on the blue whale. We get this summary page here. You can take a look at the data sources, get some idea of where all this information is coming from. And there's also some more links for blue whale information, including some more mapping tools. All right, let's have a look at the map now. So we want to go over to Update Map. And then to get a better idea of what we're looking at, we're going to go to the Layers option up on the upper right here. So right now we can see that we're looking at a color-coded summary of our blue whale data. And this is a good way to identify what you might call a hotspot for blue whale sightings as color-coded by the number of sightings. And we can also have a look at this map through a different layer. Let's try the points layer. So now we're looking at the same information but just presented in a different way. And we can also find more information on any particular data point by using our identify tool here. And let's just choose this point right here. And so there is some more detailed information, the latitude, the longitude, the date collected, the data set name, and the record ID. And if you click on that record ID, you'll get much more detailed information. Now we also have the option to download this data and to do that we would want to go to our show results option here. So first we're going to get the full data set. You'll see this is page 1 of 126. So this is all the information we were just looking at on the map. We can have a look at a graph of this information as well. This is page 1 through 9. So we're starting at 1758 and going all the way to 2010. And then finally we have this download option here. And you can choose the data type and what format. And that is a basic overview of how you use OBIS.